Greetings, my friends. For those of you who don't, don't understand the Isaiah 17 prophecy, if you've watched my videos over the last many years, you know exactly what it is. I've covered it just many, many times, endless times. But what it is, Damascus is the oldest inhabited city on the face of the planet that's never been destroyed. God says in Isaiah 17, Damascus will be turned into basically a glass parking lot. It'll be turned into a big pile of rubble. And right now, you saw Trump launch all those tomahawks on Syria. Israel was bombing right near Assad's palace recently and also bombing in other places. Now Russia and Iran are furious at what's going on and in Syria as well. And they've said that they will attack U.S. or Israel if they try to get involved. It's a tinderbox. I've talked about it so many times. All it's waiting for is like it's like a, a it's like a, a big forest fire where the, everything is so dry and ready, and some uh, crazy person goes out and lights a campfire, doesn't put it out, and it burns all the woods down. Only one spark is needed to burn the Middle East and get it going and get this whole thing happening. One misplaced bomb, one misplaced missile, the the the, the freedom fighters who are fighting against ISIS in Syria, they could do it. Anybody could just do something and point the finger at somebody else, someone fires on someone else, and that's it. And I'm telling you, my friends, if the rebels fire a chemical weapon anywhere in Israel's territory, or if Assad has his back against the wall, he's not going to go down without taking everything, the whole house down with him. All it's going to take is one chemical weapon to be launched on Israel from anyone, and I'm telling you, Israel will launch a nuke on Damascus, Turn that place into a glass parking lot, a place fit for nothing but the owls and the ostriches. The Bible talks about those being filthy birds that inhabit wastelands. That's all it'll be good for. And after that, everything's going to roll on up. The Psalm 83 war with Israel and her immediate neighbors. Gog Magog war with Russia, Iran, Turkey, a lot of northern African countries coming after Israel. <clears throat> and all of the things happening, building up to the Battle of Armageddon, which is the war to end all wars. We are right now on the threshold of eternity. You watch Syria, and look at Lindsey Graham. He's trying to goad Donald Trump by saying that the Syri that Assad just told Trump, he said, excuse me, my language, he said, F you. I'm not going to tell you anything beyond the initials. He's trying to goad Trump, Graham is, into going off the handle and doing something else. And Trump will do it, because you know how Trump is. He will fly off the handle and do whatever he wants to do. North Korea is waiting. Everything's waiting in the wings. China's waiting. So many wars and rumors of wars. Jesus Christ is your only hope, my friends. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, witness and pray for the lost daily. It's your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are great, and look up. Our different draweth nigh. You fly soon. May God bless you. Share this.